Oh my god. I think it was my hair, but it felt like a bug. Just like tickling, crawling on me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are outside once again. In my car, I found a bit of a different place on campus. There will still be buses behind me but potentially fewer other cars and fewer people are parked here and it is still in the shade so i'd say that's a plus and today I, fig I, f f f f I figured i would film a get ready with me that was aggressive i'm sorry i figured i'd film a get ready with me for fall uh just just for fun i sometimes just don't wear makeup all day and then put it on in the afternoon i'm a crazy person like don't literally don't ask me why i just love makeup <laughs> Like, I, I don't know. I just like do it in my free time. Do it when I need a break. It's relaxing. It's artistic. And I'm enjoying it. So, first I'm going to use the Sunbum SPF 30 sunscreen. Ugh. I, you know, I think I talked about this in the last video. Did I talk? No. I tried to film this once before. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't have a mirror out. I love how that. <laughs> That's great. That's gonna work out. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Hair in the sunscreen. Mm. You just need a little bit of that stuff. This smells so strongly of bananas. Like, it smells like they tried to cover up like a nasty scent and it's just like really strong for some reason. Oh, I'm just gonna put some lip balm. Always need a lip balm. I just like, I have so much lip balm and it's just everywhere and then it's nowhere. You know what I mean? This one's kind of melted, but this is the Burt's Bees Pomegranate Lip Balm. Hmm. And I think today I'm gonna start with the eyes. So I'm gonna put primer on. And then we'll get started with eyeshadow. I tried to film this video yesterday and my camera died. Like, I was literally almost done, guys. Like, I was like so close to being done. And, um,. Camera just freaking died on me, like, hello. And then I tried to film the rest of it with my phone, and then my phone ran out of space. And so I was just like, today's not working for me. <laughs> and I told Zach about it, and he laughed at me. But whatever, it's fine. It's my fault for not keeping the camera charged. The unfortunate thing about this camera is that it says it's fully charged until it's dead. So it's just kind of, ooh. It might be moving. It's just kind of one of those things where you gotta charge it every night or you should have no expectations. One time Zach used it um, for VidCon and it, it lasted like all four days without needing to be charged. And I was just like, how'd you do that? <laughs> I don't know, but dies on me, of course. So, yeah. Okay, and I think this is the first time I'm using these in a video this is the first time using these palettes in a video but i really love them they were my fall purchases they're these i don't know if you can see them but these beautiful morphe i have this is the 350 matte and i also have the 350 shimmer which i will show you but these are the beautiful colors and just some amazing colors for fall like you just see all these warm they make me feel happy <laughs> all these warm mid-tone colors why am i so weird oh my god <laughs> and i think what i'm gonna do is take this uh wet and wild fluffy fluffy brush oh god okay i'm gonna go in with this light peachy shade for a transition here we go that is so pigmented and I'm gonna bring that all the way in, just like all in the crease. Excuse my eyebrows. I'm a hot mess, guys. Like, this week is crazy. Like that car going 50 miles an hour. Oh, the wind is nice, though. I was just saying this week is like nuts because I kid you not, I have two midterms, an essay. No, three midterms, an essay, and a project. But it's just like the craziest week of my life and then Thursday night, like literally I'm gonna go to class and work on Thursday and then I literally jump on a plane and go to Michigan. It's just crazy and I got packing to do and all this type of jazz. 
I'm gonna go in with this little color in the corner right here. This deep, deep, cool toned, purpley maybe color. It's very deep. Oh, and I'm using another Wet n Wild brush. This is just more of like a flat, blendy type thing happening here. Ooh, tap off the excess. I picked up a lot of product. You don't want to get too much. I'm actually really liking posting videos more often. Like, I just feel happier. It makes me happy to post videos. And again, bringing this all the way in, and don't worry, I'm gonna blend it out. This might look like shit at first, but I think all makeup does, right? Like, especially when you're doing a smoky eye. Smoky eyes don't go look good without your liner and your lashes and your makeup foundation. So, probably should use a different brush, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta guess. See where things take you. Okay, let's blend. I'm dying to. When you look like you got punch in the eye, you can move on to the next step. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the... Oh my god, I just hit the camera. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. This is the shimmer. Um, I think I'm gonna take... I'll take this one. I can even take this one. And I'm gonna pat it onto the lid. Um, wet your brush if you want to, because that'll make this look cute as fuck. Oh, can you see that shit? <laughs> that is a shimmer. What? That looks amazing in the sunlight. Love this. This this is a nice color. Very fall. And if anything transfers onto the lower lash line, don't worry. That's why we didn't put our concealer on yet. You got me? Oh, that is like liquid gold. Except it's not liquid, it's like powder gold. It's very like, it, it kind of reminds me of Amber Lights by MAC, you know? But I like this better. I ain't kidding. Oh, I just literally dropped my palette. Yuck! If you're a makeup lover, then you can relate, because like an eyeshadow is just like giving you life. That's what this is right now. Like this is giving me life back into my life. Life back into my life. I wonder if I have my small patty pat brush. Your small patty pat brush. Take it. Can you see? I'm gonna go into this stunning light gold color. It's beautiful. And get some. This is a great brush for precision work. And it really packs a pigment punch. I'm gonna just take it. Pat it in the middle. Really give your eyes that round uh, appearance and shit. It's very subtle, but it really does make a difference, let me tell you. I'm going back in with a dark color in the 350 matte palette. And I'm taking this little pencil brush and I'm just gonna redefine what happened there and kind of reblend because we're getting a little weird texture and stuff. So let's just go over that a little. This brush is so much better than the other one. And we're blending once more. You've been watching Vlogging on my channel. Leave me a comment down below because I want to know who's watching. Like, who are you people? And I want to know what you guys want to see next for Vlogween. Think about it. Just like it. Oh, I think we're ready for concealer. For sure. I'm gonna start with some primer just to uh, get things going here. Here I have the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Just using not even a full pump. Started at the nose, nose. And I'm getting it all over the face. Let's get the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I'm like super hype in this video. I don't know what it is. I am not having the best week ever, but you know. I think this is what's making me happy. For sure. Alright, dot it. Dot it on your face. I like to start with the most problem areas when it comes to foundation. Because, uh, those are the most important to get covered. Oh, by the way, this is the Elf Blendin Foundation Brush, is what I'm using. Everything is always linked down below. I don't know if I'm going to be able to release this video because I am going to criticize myself so much in the editing process. But sometimes you just gotta be your true self. Sometimes your true self is a crazy person. Ugh, I wish I had my beauty blender. I like this brush, but I think it needs to be clean because it's getting a little streaky. Okay, it's time for concealer. I'm using the classic Glamouflage from Hard Candy. And we can already see it's looking a bit better. 
Oh, that's a lot. And it's a little melty. All right. Just bring it all the way up. I want to get that highlighting game going. And I'm bringing it into the inner corner because I have a lot of bluey darkness. You're loud. I really do wish I had my blender wet. I should have got it wet. I do have some water right here. If this hair keeps going in my fucking makeup. I'm seriously about to try this. This water is contaminated now, I understand, but. I think it's usable. I think I could use it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try it. Fun fact, you can dip your beauty blender in water to make it down. This is just making my life so much better. It just feels so much better to use this sponge. Like, I don't know, and it just works better for me. I don't like all that streaky and that cakey, you know what I'm saying? And I like to get right up under there. Just get in there. You might get a weird crease line right there, that's fine. I'm just gonna go back in and blend it as one does. Ooh, we got it in the eyebrow. Now, it's time to immediately set the concealer. Sorry, I don't mean to yell at you, it's just really important. Shake it. This is the e.l.f. Oh, high definition under eye setting powder. It's tiny, um, it works really well too. I like using it. Fun. This helps the concealer to stop from creasing. Creasing sucks, it's not cute. It's more just a thing like I don't want to put all that work in and then the shit creases. You know what I'm saying? Now that the eyeshadow is set, the concealer is set, it's time to go back in with some eyeshadows to touch that shit up and to add some flair to the life of everything. First, I'm going back in with the shimmer palette, taking our small pat pat brush and going back in with the gold right here. Put it on your inner corner and then drop your palette. I like to bring it slightly onto the lower lash line. This helps open up the eyes, especially if you got some dark fucking eyes like I do. Mom wouldn't approve of me saying that. Let's go back in with a little pencil brush. Where is she? Where is she? And we're going into matte palette. Uh, I was taking this blender brush. Let's just blend this shit. Let's just blend it. Let's just go and blend it. And you can see now that the eyeshadow has been shaped by the concealer. It's something that definitely works. Now, it's time to set the rest of my face because it's bloody hot outside. <laughs> I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, the light shade right here, and this is a ran it's this is literally a Kirkland brush. It's a powder brush. That's what we're using it for. Go figure. And I'm dusting this onto the oilies to get rid of them. No one wants the oilies, so we're getting rid of them. Dust it. I don't like to apply it too much because I don't need that thick helping like I do for my concealer. It's time for mascara! I'm gonna fast forward through this part and just let you know. It's getting too long. I don't wanna edit all this shit. Let's put on some fake eyelashes. These are from Cara. They're 100% human hair, I guess, and they were only a dollar on the internet. And I'm gonna put them on my face. Pick the old glue off. You don't need that. I'm using this. Kiss. Is it? Why is there so many buses? Literally three buses! I'm using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. It's clear formula. This eyelash goo is eyelash goo. That sounds disgusting. Oh my god! Lord bless my soul. Oh. Buses everywhere. I'm putting some eyelashes. <laughs> I'm crazy. I can't put this on if the wind is blowing them. but I kind of fucked it up. Whatever. Take your eyelash curler and curl them babies. 
Sweet perfection. Gently. Yeah, just like that. Good job. Don't give me the struggle, okay? Fine, a thin layer of glue. Hello. Giggling at myself alone in front of a camera. Wow, what a life. <laughs> Allow the glue of tiny steel cans to dry. Allow for the glue to dry. I don't know what this is turned into. People have been applying <laughs> eyelashes underneath on their freaking water tight line thing. That makes me incredibly uncomfortable. I don't know why. Using this powder brush, hello, say hello. Blend. This video is gonna be a hot mess. I'm sure you know that already. Now it's time for a small highlight. This is the Becca Champagne Pop. I don't feel like using blush today. I also don't feel like doing my eyebrows, so suck it. I'm just kidding. I would never say that to you. You're my best friend. Tap the excess. Apply the highlight to the desired regions. Stupid. Good job. You did it. Have you guys figured out if I'm telling that to you or myself? I thought I just heard someone laughing behind me. That's scary as shit. That's scary. I feel like this isn't blended. I need to do something about this. It's probably as good as it's gonna get. And I'm gonna do my eyebrows with this Benefit brow set thing. I don't feel like doing anything else to them. They look like a mess. I feel like I, all of my anger came out in this video in the form of fake anger. It's time for lipstick. I can't find my lipstick. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I don't care about lip liner today. Today I just want to look cute and I don't want to try hard to do it. You got me? I don't know. I feel like this is like tilted to some type of angle. This is the LA Girl lipstick in the shade Romance. Romance. Now you look cute. I hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Why am I so crazy? Is this still even recording? That's what I'd like to know. Truly and really. Oh, it is. How do I look? Oh, 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 oh. Drama. Anyways, I'm sorry that was so weird. Maybe it was entertaining too? I don't know. <laughs> I was not planning that, it just happened. That weirdness that just occurred. So, if it's terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try harder next time. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you tomorrow in the next vlogoween. I hope you have a great day. Bye, bye, bye.